just coming in to the season, this is the culmination of, of everything that we've worked hard for in the last two to two and a half to three years. Um, this is it. This was the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. This was everything that young men have worked for, you know, f for as long as they can remember. This, this was their goal, their, their finish line. And we set a very high bar at the beginning of the season. We knew what we wanted to accomplish, and we did everything that we set out to accomplish. We became that strong, cohesive team that every other high school can aspire to become. Um, the third round of the state playoffs, playoffs in only your third year is, you know, while we're not, while we're still a little bit hungry, and while we always want more, and you always, you always want to achieve more. Years from now, I think everybody's going to sit back and they're going to be very extremely proud of what we have accomplished in in, in three very short years. Second place in one of the most difficult conferences in the state. Uh, third round of the playoffs, competing against some of the best teams in the state, not in this area, just and and then really having individual play, individual players just stand out and shine, and, and becoming the backbone of of not just a team this year, but of a program that's that's going to be very difficult to compete with for many years to come. I can't say enough. Uh, you know, the senior leadership, the juniors who have stepped up and became not just verbal leaders or, or physical leaders but just emotional leaders uh, for a team that's still very very young one of the youngest in the conference um, you know it's just it, it's been an absolute pleasure it's been a joy ride and it just it, it leaves the door open for exciting things to come Rejoice in the beautiful game And together at the end of the day We are safe when I get older I will be stronger They'll call me freedom Just like a waving flag And then it goes back And then it goes back And then it goes back And then it goes When I get older I will be stronger They'll call me freedom Just like a waving flag And then it goes back Rejoice in the beautiful game And together at the end of the day We all say when I get older I will be stronger They'll call me freedom Just like a waving flag And then it goes back And then it goes back And then it goes back And then it goes When I get older I will be stronger They'll call me freedom Just like a waving flag And then it goes back And then it goes back And then it goes back the boys, well done on a fantastic season. We're uh, really proud of how well you performed, both the JV and varsity team. Uh, I hope as you guys move on to uh, your respective club teams that you continue to develop your skills uh, for you seniors who are going off to college. 
Uh, you always got a free lunch with me when you come back in town. Uh, continue to work hard and uh, take your training seriously. You know me, how big I am on training. Make sure you focus and work hard every single day at school, uh, at sports, uh, with your relationships with friends and family. And uh, I've been so proud to be your coach. Take care. Senior year was a great year for the team. Uh, we accomplished a lot, and we became closer as a, as a team, as a whole, and we're basically family.
but you must get to the line. They'll always hit you and hurt you. Defend and attack. There's only one way. Going over to Christian Hampton's house and everybody getting their bleach mohawks. It was uh, it brought us closer together as a team and made the season that much more important. I just would like to personally thank uh, the seniors for this year's soccer team for helping set such a solid foundation for our soccer program here at Heritage High School. It hasn't been an easy journey, uh, but it's been a great journey, and it ended uh, well for you seniors. For the rest of you, you now have a foundation in which to grow our programs, and we want to thank Coach Sloan. Uh, all the parents uh, for your support, uh, but mainly we want to thank the players uh, for the day-to-day -day efforts that you give uh, in order to represent Heritage High School in such a positive manner. Thank you. Countdown. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Favorite moment um, would have to be um, us bleaching our hair and destroying Wakefield. Um, and senior night when we beat Leesville four to one, it was a great experience and a beautiful memory.
some memories that I had this season. Uh, I think hitting the crossbar a few times was probably a good memory of mine. <laughs> I did that a lot. Uh, just being with all the, you know all the guys and making friendships that I'm never for gonna forget. Um, the blonde mohawks. Uh, that's something I'll never forget. I think just memories, just being with the guys. Being with the guys was more of the memories that I'm going to remember more than being on the field for me. I know it's probably different for other guys, but I think it was practicing with you guys and being able to interact with you guys is what was really special for me this season. Uh, standouts are, are memorable moments from the season. Um, just small things come to mind. Uh, you know, guys that stood up and put the weight of the team on their shoulders. Uh, things that probably won't be in any statistics book or on any wall uh, as great accomplishments. But things that I remember the most, um, well, if you look at our three-year history, how many one-goal games we lost, how many games we lost in the last 10 minutes. And this was the complete opposite. How many games did we win now? How many games were we able to hold on to? Uh, that, that, that great leadership, that, that willingness to say we're not going to fade, we're not going to lose this game. Those are the things that I'm going to remember the most. You know, Rather than giving up a goal in the last three minutes, getting one goal and sometimes two, and, and finishing a game strong. Having a player score 20 plus goals, having a guy who's more worried about getting assists and Ricky uh, than getting goals, having a player who has never played in the back line before, having to become a center back this year and, and just being that player, H having guys that were willing to sacrifice their own personal wants for the greater need of the team. So while there were many wonderful standout moments this year, it's the small stuff that will probably go unnoticed that I cherish the most. That star up in the sky, I'm that mountain peak up high. Hey, I made it. Mm -hmm. I'm the world's greatest, and I'm that little bit of hope when my back's against the ropes. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I'm the world's greatest. I'm a giant, I am an eagle, oh, I am a lion, down in the jungle, I am a marching band, I am the people, oh, I am a heaven hand, I am a hero, if anybody asks you who I am, 
Just stand up tall, look them in the face and say From that star up in the sky, from that mountain peak up high And you guys better be busting your butts for next year Because uh, even though we won't be there, we expect nothing less than what we did this year And probably even more We want that state championship banner First, I wanted to give a small message to all the coaches that helped out this season. First, to Coach Sloan for uh, giving me an opportunity to join the team this year. As hard as I know it was to make me join the team, uh, I wanted to thank you for giving me the opportunity because I really had a great time this year being with my friends and being with the team and really making bonds that I'm never going to forget in my life. Uh, to Coach Taylor, I know you are making awesome contributions to the team with the JV team. Uh, you're, you know, you're the future of our soccer program, and so I wanted to thank you for that. And to Coach Navaria, you're a great guy, and I know you personally and on the field. And um, I think your speech before the Wakefield game really kind of turned the season for us. So I wanted to thank you for that. Coach Sloan, Coach Navaria, and Coach Pugginton for being there for me, um, giving me advice, and helping me improve as a person and as a player, and getting me ready for college um, next year. Thank you. thing the greatest challenge you know coming off of this year is going to be how we follow it up next year what legacy has been left behind uh, we're losing a great group of young men 
uh, and I, I cross my fingers and I look forward to the moment we can turn around on the sideline and see them coming back to support our program. But those, you know, those are the things that I look forward to, is, is what direction we're going to forward now, what direction we're going in as a program. Uh, we've accomplished a lot of things in just three short years, and, and the exciting thing is knowing what, what lies ahead of us, what things we can look forward to, what direction now we're going to take as a program. We've had a wonderful springboard, but now it's up to the rest of us to make sure that we continue to go in the right direction. I wish the players who are departing absolutely nothing but the best uh, professionally, academically, collegiately, uh, and I hope they have very rich and fulfilling lives. Uh, and for the players who are still going to be part of the program, the bar has been set very high, and we absolutely look forward to starting work in the off season and, and hoping to further our, uh, our expectations. Great moments are born from great opportunity. You shouldn't have any doubt in your mind about what you're supposed to do tonight and about how you're supposed to do it. This is your time. Now, I don't want them to gain another yard. We gotta go out there and we gotta take it. Take their game and shove it right back in their face. That's how winning is done. Team is something you belong to. Something you feel. Something you have to earn. If we don't come together, it's over. And I guarantee a week won't go by in your life. You won't regret walking out, letting them get the best of it. I'll ask you one last time. To be the best that you can be. Play like champions. Win. It's about heart. It's about who can go out there and play the hardest. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die, willing to take the hits, who's going to win that inch. Let me tell you something, you don't let in. Nothing. On this team, we fight, and we shut them down, because we can't.